So rights, health care, college, free income, free you name it, and you don't lose those rights even if you rape and assault your next door 14-year-old neighbor. It's what the founding fathers would have wanted! So Samantha, let me be very honest with you. I believe that in a democratic, civilized society, health care is a human right. Government should make stand. that. Got a drink. I, 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 I believe that every young person in this country. This just shows you that Bernie Sanders has no idea as to what a fundamental human right, right is. Right a human yeah. right, okay, by the way, is something constitutionally, which he's, he has no concept of, it's pretty clear, is not granted to you by government. Otherwise, any commodity, goods or service, could be, a, could be a right. Just like in Germany, they declared the internet to be a human right. No, human rights are inalienable rights that are given to you by God, and they are simply recognized by government. Things like freedom of speech, freedom of assembly, freedom of religion, the freedom to self-protection, the Second Amendment. Health care is not a human right. College is not a human right. And by the way, you know how else you know that he doesn't understand the concept of human rights? The only way you forfeit basic human rights, which are given to you by God as a birthright, is when you irreparably harm someone else, like in the incident of a violent crime or some kind of a serious sex offense. And by the way, he doesn't think those people should forfeit those rights to vote and elect him your next president while they are currently serving in a maximum security prison. So rights, health care, college, free income, free you name it, and you don't lose those rights even if you rape and assault your next door 14-year-old neighbor. It's what the founding fathers would have wanted! Guys, let me, let me just, let me just key in on this. From Bernie's own website, he says that he wants to re-enfranchise the right to vote to the 1 in 13 African Americans who have had their vote taken away by a felony conviction, paid their debt to society, and deserve to have their rights restored. I, I'm actually curious about the rest of the people who are yeah. felons, but well, apparently it will only apply to African Americans, the one in 13. And, and I, here's something racist. actually, an interesting legal question. I was thinking about this earlier. There should, there are different classifications of felonies, Certainly. correct? Yeah. So there should be obviously cut off. I don't think that if, let's say for some reason, at some point you got caught with a bag of cocaine or crack or meth, I know they're gonna say it's racist if you don't say crack. I don't necessarily think you should lose your right to vote for all time. But I do think if you're a violent felon, if you're a sex offender, and again, that's a different degree of felony, you shouldn't have a say in the laws that we create if you're going to blatantly disregard them in a way that harms other citizens. Absolutely. I mean, you, whether whether you call it a social contract, whether you look at just the utilitarian practical aspect of giving someone like that the right to vote again, and, and granted, it's going to be a small minority, but in any particular place, I'm really thinking of Californians. I mean, they're going to have the largest problem with this if that vote to, right to vote is reestablished. Um, it just doesn't it really change sense. the voting block a whole bunch, though. <laughs> California. They're all the same. California went from blue to really blue. <laughs> It, is it, but is it's it, so blue, you've never seen blue. Oh yeah, voting to register sex offenders, nice. Sounds like a plan. The question goes to this being like, you're writing an opposition ad against you by saying you think the Boston Marathon bomber should vote not after he pays his debt to society, but while he's in jail. Oh, so you're right. About that. There but it is. This, you know, this is what I believe. Do you believe in democracy? Do you believe that every single American 18 years of age or older who's an American citizen has the right to vote. No, it should Once be 30. Start shipping he's, away. he's giving new meaning <laughs> to this. You know, you've heard sure. that the description of democracy. It's five wolves voting to eat a sheep. Yes. You've heard about that? Yes. He's really talking, he's actually talking about wolves. He's talking about people who are in prison yeah. for violent crimes who should vote while they're in prison. I, I thought, here's the thing, I actually think it's an interesting conversation to entertain if they've paid their debt to society sure. and it is not one that directly involved uh, inflicting harm on somebody else. And I know that all crimes inflict harm on somebody else because you're a burden the taxpayer, but it's different from a violent crime or sexual assault or something like that. Right. Certainly. He's talking about people who've harmed <laughs> other people who are currently Actually, in maximum I mean, security when, prison voting. When you've got Cuomo looking at you wide-eyed in disbelief, <laughs> yeah. you know you've gone off the reservation, and <laughs> I don't mean Warrens. Me hey there, if you like this video, this is the part where I would usually tell you to subscribe, but... I can't do it anymore. I'm going to tell you to subscribe, and then YouTube is going to decide that we can't reach you even though you subscribe to this channel, and then I'll say hit the notification bell, and then the notification bell won't even be there anymore. I don't know what to say.
more than likely you'll find my face in a milk carton. But do what you can to stop it. It's just, it's just, it probably won't do much.